Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Super Mario from Super Mario Odyssey. Let's get started in the middle of our face with the nose. Now I'm going to be drawing an oval starting from the very top. Come around the sides. Just carefully work my way back up towards the top. Now from here I want to tuck the eyes in behind the nose. So it's basically an oval starting from the top of the nose on the left side. Draw that oval going up down and just pull that in towards the side of the nose. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, leaving a gap in the center, up towards the top, and work our way towards the side of the nose. Now we're going to tuck the iris and pupil on the inside edge. So we're going to draw another oval, a slightly smaller one, starting from the inside edge, go around, pull that back in, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now on the top left, I want to draw a small circle for a highlight. Now in behind the highlight, I'm just going to draw another oval in behind on the inside edge of the iris. And we'll fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So at the bottom of the highlight, we'll fill that in black. Now we're going to draw in the mustache tucked in behind the nose. So on the left side here, we're going to curve around the eye around and up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we want to draw a series of little loops that come in towards the middle. So on the left side we're just going to curve around and in. Do the same thing on the right side. We're going to draw another curve. Going down and back up. Now we're going to draw one final set that comes up and towards the middle. Starting on the left side we'll curve up just underneath the nose same thing on the right side. Now from here I'm just going to draw a curve just above the eyes for the lower brim of the hat. Starting on the left side, I'm going to curve up in the middle and then down on the right side. Just underneath the brim I'm going to tuck in the eyebrows. So just above the left eye on the side here we're going to curve up and then pull that down. I'm going to go back to the outside and curve up underneath the brim. We'll continue that curve coming down in towards the middle. Now I'm going to fill that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the inside, we're going to curve up above the eye and hook it down. Go back to the middle, we're going to curve up underneath the brim, and then we'll continue it on the side. We're going to go ahead and fill all that in black. Now just above the brim of the hat, we've got these two large oval eyes. So we're going to start in the middle, stepping up to right about here, we're going to draw a point. From that point, I'm going to circle around and then back down towards the bottom. So drawing an oval, goes out, down, and then back up towards the middle. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, starting from the center again, going up towards the top, down the side towards the bottom, and we'll pull that up in towards the middle. Now I'm just going to trace out the inside to create a frame. So starting at the top, we're going to step down and just draw an even space gap all the way around the eyes. Now on the inside edge, we're going to draw a smaller oval. So tucked up against the inside line here, we're going to draw a little oval like this. We'll draw the same thing on the right side. Now on the top left, again, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. Now we're going to draw a smaller oval in the center of the iris, just behind the highlight for the pupil. And we're going to fill that in black. Now from these ends, I just want to curl around the brim of the hat and come up in behind the eyes. So right here, we're going to curve around and then just curve it upwards so it gets a little bit wider. Do the same thing on the right side, rounding out the end, curving that up. In between here, we're just going to see a little curve for the top. Now, just on the sides of the brim, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down, just above the tip of the mustache on either side. Now, I'm going to round out the cheeks and then just pull them in towards the chin. So, I'm going around the mustache and pulling that into right about there. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to round out the bottom of the chin. 
Starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right side. On the sides here, we're just going to curve around the sideburns. So from the tip of that curve, it's coming down towards the side of the cheek on both sides. Now we're going to tuck the ears in behind here. So about halfway along the sideburn, I'm going to curve up and out and then pull that back in towards the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. I'm just going to draw a little hook on the inside at the top. So right up here, we're just going to hook around in behind the side of the head. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go in and draw on the top of the hat. So on the top of the ear here, we're going to curve out and pull that in towards the side of the eye. Pull that upwards. We'll do the same thing on the right. Halfway down the eye, curve it out, and then pull that back in towards the top of the ear. Up here, I'm just going to finish off the top of the hat with a curve. Okay, so now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm going to start with the sides of the body first, so now it rounds out on either side. So just below the chin, curve out, and then back in. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving out, and then back into the same height. I'm going to draw in the two straps for the overalls. So on the left side of center, we're going to curve down and out. Do the same thing on the right. I'm going to draw two little V's. So we're going to come down to a center point, then back up, do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to take these two points and curve up underneath the chin. And in the bottom of these straps, I'm going to draw a circle for the button. Now let's draw on the top edge of the overalls. So on the left side of the strap, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes up. On the right, we'll curve out towards the side of the body. In between here, just above the buttons, draw a slight curve from left to right. Now just above the end of the line, we're going to step up and draw another curve, a little seam, coming down the middle, back up on the right side. Now I'm going to locate the lower torso, so I'm going to imagine this curve of the body coming down to right about here. So from left to right, I'm just going to scoop down and then back up. In the middle, I'm just going to draw two lines coming side by side. Let's continue with the legs. So on either side here, I'm going to step in from the left, draw an angled line going out. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve down the inside of the leg, coming down. We're going to draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to draw a curve. We'll do that on both sides. Make sure they're the same length. Now I'm going to round out the toe, going up towards the top of the foot, come down, and then just flatten out on the inside of the leg. So we'll curve up come down aiming towards the heel and then we'll just flatten it out as we get towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve up towards the top of the foot and pull that down towards the toe. Now for the side of the leg, we're going to step up from that line and just curve down towards the top of the foot. So on the left side we'll step up and just round out the side of the leg on both sides. And we're just going to add a little trim along the bottom, so taking that curve and just duplicating it right up above. Now we're going to finish this off with the arms. So on the left side, about halfway down this curve, we're going to come down and out towards the left. I want to draw a little bump for the edge of the glove. A little bump like that. And I'm going to draw a slightly larger one for the thumb. So it's a little half circle that goes around. Now at the end of the thumb, I'm just going to draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, I'm just going to scroll around the bracket and pull that up. I'm going to step down, draw another curve going up. Step down again. Around. Now the fourth finger, we're going to come up towards the wrist. So coming up to right about there. I'm going to connect that point to that point here with a curve. Around like that. Now the edge of the glove, we're going to start on the outside, we're going to curve it out and pull it in towards the top of that first curve. Now for the outside of the arm, we're going to step up here, curve in underneath the head. Let's take that arm, flip it over on the right side. So we're going to step up here, curving down towards the wrist. We're going to draw that little bump for the edge of the glove. Then we'll draw a larger half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we're going to draw a little bracket. Now we're going to layer the fingers around. So at the bottom of the thumb, we're going to swirl around the bracket and pull it up. Come back down, draw a second finger, third finger. Now the fourth finger is going to come up all the way up towards the wrist to there. 
I'll connect that point to the outside wrist with a curve. Now from this point at the top of the cuff, we're gonna go out and then round it out back and towards the hand. Now I'm gonna draw on the outside part of the arm. So I'm gonna start at the top here, just underneath the head, and curve down and in behind the cuff of the glove. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Super Mario for Super Mario Odyssey. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.